Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the next version of Mac OS X, Mountain Lion. So I've been getting a lot of questions about Mountain Lion. The first thing to do if you're curious is of course to go to Apple's site at apple.com slash macOSX slash mountain dash lion. You can find out everything we basically know about Mountain Lion right now. The page features all sorts of details that Apple's released. Now basically this is all we really know at the moment. So anything you see here is what's being repeated in a lot of articles around the internet. So Mountain Lion is Mac OS 10.8. It follows with all the cat names for all the different versions of Mac OS 10. We had Cheetah, Puma, Jaguar, Panther, Tiger, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Lion, and now Mountain Lion. Apple has said that Mountain Lion will be out at the end of the summer. So we could probably look for somewhere around September. They haven't said anything about price yet. So we don't know if it's going to be $30 like Snow Leopard and Lion were. Or perhaps it may even be cheaper considering it's only been a year since Lion has been released. We do know that the way you'll get it is to download it from the Mac App Store. It's the same way we got Lion. Now Lion had an alternative after a while they came out with a USB stick that you could use to install it. They've said that they're not going to do that with Mountain Lion. There just wasn't enough interest with the one they came out with for Lion. Now as for new features we've got several that are already announced. Uh, one of them will be the integration of iMessage into iChat and the whole app will be renamed Messages. In addition we'll have new apps, Reminders and Notes that break out those features from iCal and Mail and make them more similar to how they work in iOS. And of course they'll both sync a lot with iCloud like they do now. We'll also have a new Notification Center that will work just like the Notification Center on the iPhone and iPad. So you get notifications say when you have incoming messages, when you have incoming emails, be able to customize which apps send you notifications and how they appear on your screen. We're also going to have more sharing where you're going to see this button appear in various applications. So you can say email a document or a photo or send it to Twitter, things like that. Uh, we're also going to have Game Center included. And Game Center, of course, has been in iOS for a while, but it will allow Mac apps to actually have some multi user capabilities, have high scores, things like that, and also compare those with uh, Game Center on iOS. So that will be kind of integrated. And a, a big one's AirPlay mirroring. This will allow you to basically mirror the Mac screen on an Apple TV, which you can do now with the iPad and the iPhone 4S. And another big feature is Gatekeeper. So Gatekeeper is a feature that's going to make your Mac more secure. It's going to define all apps into three types. First type is an app bought from the Mac App Store. Now everything in the Mac App Store, whether it's paid for or free, is looked at by Apple before it's allowed in the store. So there's a general amount of security there because it's been reviewed. The second type is an app that you get from the developer directly or from some other online source, but has a digital signature that's given to the developer by Apple. Now Apple isn't going to review these apps, but Apple does have the signature. They know who created it. So if there's a problem with the app, it would be easy to deal with that problem, say if it was malware or something else was wrong with the app. And the third type of app is everything else. Stuff that's not signed, stuff that you download from other developers on the internet. And you could define the level of what you can have on your Mac. So you can say I only want things from the Mac App Store or I want things from the Mac App Store and things that have been signed or I'll allow any app. This will allow computers say set up in schools or set up for uh, other individuals in your household that might not be as computer savvy to have kind of a restriction to prevent them from downloading something and installing something that could be malware. Now there's also going to be more iCloud integration in Mountain Lion. One of the things that it should do is sync a lot of different settings and things across various Macs. So theoretically you should be able to get a new Mac, sign into your iCloud account, and then instantly you see all sorts of things like your email accounts, your uh, bookmarks and Safari, settings for various applications, and things in the Mac App Store automatically set up for you, making it very easy to migrate from one Mac to another or have multiple Macs like a desktop and a laptop. Now developers don't have to wait to the end of the summer to get Mountain Lion. They can get a preview release now which helps them develop their applications, added new features like Notification Center so they're ready when Mountain Lion is released. 
Now, a lot of times developers leak things, uh, screenshots, uh, videos, uh, and this is what you read a lot about between now and the end of the summer before the official release of Mountain Lion. So keep in mind that's all pre-release stuff. Things change. New features are added. Some are taken away. Some are changed. So when you read about something is not going to work or not be included in a Mountain Lion, keep in mind that it's not all set in stone until Mountain Lion is finally released. But yes, we can be pretty sure that some older Macs, ones that barely support Lion, will probably be left out from Outline. Every time a new version of the operating system comes out, of course, some older hardware is left behind. You could still use the existing operating system, Lion in this case, but can't upgrade to the new one. So there's a brief look at what we know about Mountain Lion now. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.